Mike Blackburn here with Matthias Eklund from Sweden. The morning after the big Jason Becker Not Dead Yet Festival. And first off, what were your thoughts on the evening itself and uh, how, do, how was it for you? I had a, had a splendid time. I think there was a really good vibe in the air and it felt good to do whatever little one can to help out. And, uh, it, was, it was great. I had a great time and I'm honored to be to be included in the whole bunch of tip-top guitar players. So, yeah, that was great. I'm super duper grateful. I hope there will be some good money left as well for Jason. That was the entire thing, wasn't it? it was. So, yeah. So maybe you can go back now and tell us how, how and when you first discovered Jason's music and, and what it's meant to you over the years. I was a big uh, uh, cacophony, or how do you say it in English? Fan. Yeah, no, not fan. <laughs> Do you say cacophony or yeah? Cacophony. Cacophony. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was actually obsessed with everything from shrapnel when I was 15 and 16. So how how can anyone play like this? And Jason was really one of the the highlights. And um, I quit school actually when I was 16 and just sat home and tried, ah, what the hell is happening here? So um, and I have a very Liberal, liberal mom and dad and everything. So, but um, yeah, that was great. And then the perpetual burn was a, a true highlight as well. And uh, always had great tone and great ideas and everything. So, it's, it's, uh, yeah, kick-ass player indeed. So. And and currently, what what projects are are upcoming for you? Oh, so you don't want to know too much. Um, much tape you have? Is it a memory stick? Okay. Now, well, I, I'm going home uh, in 20 minutes to um, wrap up a double album called Free Guitar The Smokers Board, which uh, just when everybody stopped buying CDs, I'm gonna do a double instrumental guitar album, the commercial suicide of doom. So, uh, but somebody has to do it, and I have many, many ideas that I need to to just uh, get out of me. Catharsis, get it out. So, and then after that, uh, hopefully it will be released before summer. Uh, and uh, after that, it's an album with me and Jonas Hellboy, an Indian drummer called Ranjit Parot. Very challenging album, two songs, 35 minutes each. More radio <laughs> stuff. Um, and then in October we release, uh, because Free Kitchen, my band, is celebrating the 20th anniversary. So we release uh, a new album uh, then as well. So I need to stay home a little bit next year because I've been traveling like a maniac this year. It's been close to 30 countries. That's hence my look. So the zombie state of the Swedish Viking bastard. Anyway, so lots of new music next year, lots of it. And, uh, yeah. Will you be at NAM this year? No, I'm going to India. Uh, I cancelled NAM for India because I'm learning so much from Indian. I had to choose and uh, uh, I think I will go to India, get a groovy diarrhea and learn about the South Indian Karnataka music and play with guys like Selva Ganesh and Mandalin Srinivas and also my friend Jonas Hemboy. So yeah. Well, I have to say that uh, everybody thoroughly enjoyed your performance, and if oh. there's one man here who <laughs> loves his job, it would seem to be you. <laughs> I like what I'm doing. Yes, I do. I, I've done this for 23 years now, believe it or not, just surviving on my strange uh, guitar playing. And nowadays, I'm a family provider and own some land in the Swedish woods, and I sit with a cognac in front of the fireplace. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, it's great. I do enjoy what I'm doing. I'm very grateful that uh, I can be out here like, uh, like herpes, I like to say. I never, never go away. So. And maybe finally, you just tell us a little bit about the the new intonation system with the frets you're yeah. working with on your guitars. Yeah, it's called True Temperament, and to me, this is the best invention since the string. Basically, they should have in invented True Temperament frets before the string, uh, and it's divine. It's my friend Anders Tidel in Stockholm. So it's a Swedish invention who came up with it. One day, he just got pissed off and took away all the frets and. Um, uh, just well enough, enough, uh, and then he basically uh, measured where are the correct notes and shaped the frets after that. And to me, it's it's amazing, it's divine. I never thought guitar playing could be this much uh, fun. You know, I always had a, I was always very annoyed by bad intonation. I had to compensate, and and when I felt it was ah caramba, I was started to overplay. I couldn't really, you know, dwell on the notes. So, but now it's great, and also have. Every guitar refretted in different temperaments, 
for my different tunings and also my acoustic instruments. And I wouldn't believe the sound of an island string Alhambra guitar with true temperament friends. It's wow. the shit. So. And and when one thinks about your quirky style of playing, um, <laughs> would you would it be safe to say that this system is would be good for any guitar player regardless oh. of the style? Oh yeah, absolutely, certainly. It will just sound much better. It's it's so much more accurate and precise and, and I also think you know the fingers are not straight so for me it feels much more organic than straight frets. Sorry Stefan. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, I, I adore it. I think it's absolutely fabulous. So. Well thank you again. It was a great show. It was thank a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank You're you. a gentleman, a scholar. Thank you. And uh, best of luck. See you All again. All the same. Thank you. Bye.